the side of the top. Yeah, I yeah. I Hey, hey guys, we've been pounding a few different spots, rocks and weeds. Ron put on, or actually Matt put on, nine millimeter Datsun. And it hit right by the boat. I'm sure that's gonna make for a pretty crazy video. And I almost shanked the net job because it looked like it was actually hooked under the jaw. So I went for it and the fish went behind the boat. It's a pretty nice fish. I'll get out of the way. We'll let Ron grab it. Getting good pictures. A little head out towards me if you can. Lower down. Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, let's get right, this one back it. in. Hey everybody, welcome back to a very special breakdown. Today, Kyla and I are fishing with our very good friends, Ron and Cindy Abel and their son, Matt. We met them a few years back at Manitak Lodge up in Peralt Lake, and they've really become some of our closest friends. We spend a lot of time fishing with them. So over the course of the next month and a half, you're going to see us fishing with them over the course of the summer of 2022. So I wanted to start with this fish. And today, Ron's throwing a Dadson nine millimeter and very similar to this one here so what we're doing is we're looking for active fish in the best spots and you hear on the video ron's like here's the spot on the spot and because we had an early spring weeds grew up really quick we've seen some changes in weed beds that we hadn't seen in the past so this spot here pretty classic canadian shield stuff got a deep bay it's actually pretty deep in the back and we have a saddle from mainland out to a rock island complex and in a normal year this thick patch of weeds right here is generally out around eight to nine feet and it's funny that this year with the hot weather and high water temps that we didn't see that wet weed bed out a little bit deeper and we actually made a pass here and we weren't really seeing the weeds where we had normally expected but I had been in there prior to these guys coming up and I said you know what the thickest stuff is in the back a bit we come in and on the live scope we could actually see the edge of the weeds a little bit deeper in and Ron's fishing from the back of the boat and we actually, I believe we raised the fish a little bit tighter to the rock here. And then you hear Ron on the video. So here's the spot on the spot. And what he's talking about is finding that thickest clump of weeds. And I think if I would to have a drone or something overhead, his cast probably lands right in this 
outside corner here. That fish follows in, hits him halfway back to the boat. And I almost shanked the net job because the fish goes underneath the kicker motor. But it turns out good. We get it in the bag, and that was one of the nicer fish we had on this day. Hey guys, Glenn McDonald. Got my wife Kyla fishing with our very good buddies, Ron Abel. We have Cindy right here and their son Matt. Really good friends of ours. We're on our kind of second spot today. We're just trying to find some fish. We're on a small weed patch here. Kyla hooked one on. What'd you get it on, Kyla? Uh, Lebowski's. Lebowski spinnerbait, vigilante. Really good color. Matt kind of picked that color out. Not a huge fish, but it's a nice fish to start the day. So we'll let Matt and Kylie get the fish out of the bag. Oh, nice, pretty one. <clears throat> Try not to get slime everywhere. All right, perfect. So there's our first one for the day. Not a huge one. Nice clean fish, actually. Doesn't, don't think it's been caught before by the looks of it. One Underneath mark on the maybe. nose. <laughs> Looks good. All right, let's get this one back and we'll get another one. Earlier in the day, Kyla got a decent fish off of a spot that we actually raised a couple. And those of you that kind of watch us, you might have seen this spot in previous videos, and you'll certainly see it again over the course of the 2022 stuff that we show. But this again, just classic Canadian Shield stuff. Island, rocks off the point of it. And then the key part here is we have actually some pretty deep water. So out where the boat's sitting, we're probably sitting in... 12 feet I'm going to say might even be a little bit deeper we generally like to stay back a bit and Matt raised one off of this kind of outside corner of the weed bed and this is some of that real red tobacco type of cabbage and some of that red stringy pond weed so it's very hard to get through so we always look for the best spots in there you can't hear it in the video but I had said to Kyle, I said, you got to get this transition from the weed patch to where it goes into just some isolated weeds out to this outside corner of rocks. And she cast up almost into that perfect transition area, brought that fish back and got it to go on the eight. But the key takeaway here for us is it's easy to go up on a spot like this and see these heavy, heavy weeds in the back and try and cast right to the back and pull through there. But when you start to know how some of these weed beds are laid out, you realize that you can't really pull through that. And if there was fish sitting in there, they're going to have a hard time picking up your bait when it's so tight with weeds. So we always try to look for those outside edges where the fish are more likely to be sitting to ambush. And this fish come on a Lubowski Lures Vigilante, which is a smaller size spinner bait. And just in comparison to the growler that we usually use, very similar size. Only difference with the Lebowski's is generally they're a little bit heavier, so they will cast a little better. And it's one that we use for a number of years. And it's one that just lends itself perfectly to hitting these outside corners. You can do long casts with it and get in there. Get it! 
Okay, so Kyla just caught a pike that identified as a muskie right up until the point that it hit the net. It actually, I think it, it was tangled up, so it probably felt bigger than it was. Oh yeah, he's definitely got a war wound on him. Chunky little pike, we'll throw him back and we'll keep at it. Okay, so Kyla is officially the Pike Whisperer. This one is definitely nicer. We'll just have a quick look at it. You're not supposed well, to pull the net up like that. It doesn't splash. Didn't you watch my video that Greg Thomas just showed you how to pick out a fish? You don't even watch my stuff, do you? There we go. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a heavy nice one. one. Nice fish. Get her back. Come back when you're a muskie. All right, Matt got one in the dark on the old Dadson, Mr. Leahy. We actually had to cut some hooks on that one. And in the dark, you always want to be super careful putting your hands in around fish. They got the big lights up. So Matt's going to get this one out. Obviously Matt's fish here at the end. It's too dark for my filming equipment to capture any of the actual catch. But he caught it on a 910 over and under Dadson called a Mr. Leahy. This was actually a production model. The one that Matt's using is a custom one I got from Johnny. But awesome bait for that style of fishing when you're trying to get that little bit different thump at night. And the key at night time for us again is looking for those small spots within a larger area we always hear the term spot on the spot and in musky fishing it's very true you have to find those small areas within that larger area check out the video right here where we find some fish on the spot on the spot and for us it's something that we always look to and because we know these lakes fairly well it's no coincidence that these fish sit within that smaller spot on a broader area so until next time 54 bus is out of here we'll catch you guys out on the water later